Where are you going? I won't be long. Actually, you know, come to think of it, um, I don't know if I'm going to be long or not. I mean, a building may fall down on me. I may have to chase somebody through the streets. It's busy out there. Heck, that person may even jump on a helicopter, and I'm going to have to knock him out of the helicopter. You know, come to think of it, if I get into that helicopter, I'm probably just going to fly away into the sunset. So, um, if I'm just being honest with you, I'm probably not going to be back at all, okay? But, you know, um, it's been fun. David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. This has been a vlog that so many people have requested and we're doing it today. That opening montage was to slip you in there nice and slowly, but this is the review of the Tom Ford PTS or pre-title sequence Spectre suit. Here it is. And we're going to talk about the acquisition. We're going to talk about the fit. We're going to talk about the color. We're going to talk about a lot of things. First of all, I want to uh, thank Matt Spazer from the Suits of James Bond. We're going to be using his website quite a bit through this discussion, but this is the O'Connor suit. Now, you've heard and seen the O'Connor suit before. It's got a slim fit, so you can see that it does fit. Again, tight to the body, tight to the chest. It's a very athletic fit. We're going to talk a lot about that, but the O'Connor suit, in this case, doesn't fit as tight as the Skyfall suits. Remember how, like, like they were, like, painted on? Um, this has a much better fit. It's a little bit more forgiving. Again, you know, it's a little bit tight inspector on Craig. You see it kind of like pulling crazy. Um, obviously, mine, I hope, is not. It's got a little bit more flattering. Slight little pucker here, but very athletic. You're going to notice that there's roping on the, sh it's a roping shoulder. What the heck is a roping shoulder? Well, if you come in a little bit close, if you zoom in, one of the things that you're going to find is that the roping itself gives it a very athletic type of look. And roping is a very military type of thing. It's to accentuate the shoulders. All it means is that you can see the shoulder kind of coming up a little bit. No biggie, you can pull back out. But let's talk about the suit. Now, before we get into the details of the suit, let me talk about the acquisition a little bit. When I first saw the suit, I loved it. I loved it in the movie. Um, actually, when they talked about it coming out. This was the uh, considered the Prince of Wales, even though everybody calls this the window pane, which the Prince of Wales check is like a Prince of Wales on top of a Prince of Wales. It's a very unusual, unique color, which we'll get into in a second, but I love the suit. Unfortunately, I have my Quantum of Solace suit. I couldn't justify it, you know, close to $5,000. Um, it's, it's so different when I wear it a lot. But then I saw it and I had the chance to get it for 2500 But I still didn't do it. I thought, you know what, it's too unusual. Am I going to get a lot out of it, even though I work in the agency world? And then it happened. Someone bought my exact size. They tried it on. They didn't like it. They wore it once, and they put it on eBay for $1,250. Now, any of you out there who buy suits regularly know that a Tom Ford suit for $1,250, never mind Spectre or James Bond, is a steal. So it's all about getting up early in the morning, 4.30, 5 o'clock. I jumped on it, spoke to the seller, and got it in. Yes. So did not spend the 5000 I spent 1250 Very happy. And by the way, um, got it in and very little alterations. So the good news is, is that when you see the fit, you're going to notice that what happens here is they open up the suit like this. So you see a small triangle of shirt. That's done on purpose. And you're also going to notice that it's, again, one of these situations with the sleeves, which I'll show you in just a second. So we're really going to be utilizing Matt Spazer's website, The Suits of James Bond. I'm going to cheat a little bit just because I want to be accurate, and nobody's more accurate than Matt. Um, first of all, Glen Check, this Glen Check, if you want to come up close, I really want you to see the color. The Glen Check is a medium blue and black with an overcheck, which is light blue. So it's very vivid in tone. You do not see this in the movie, but you really see it up close. There's, there's a lot of different things in this. It's, um, it's actually a six yards wide, 
which makes it a very dominant pattern, but it blends in. You don't have to see it um, up close. You don't have to see it far to really appreciate that. And by the way, if you want to come up close on the shoulder, you can see that whole idea of the roping on there. It's unbelievable. And this type of blue, which almost looks like a royal blue um, and, and a navy all mixed together, is really interesting choice for the Mexican city setting, which I really like. Matt and I agree on one thing. We thought the, the white shirt, even though I'm being accurate here, um, was a little too pale for Daniel Craig's skin, probably too, too for mine. I would use a pale blue for this. Um, but let's take a look. So first of all, three buttons. You can see that it's a roll lapel, so you see actually it looks like a two button. When we go on the inside here, you're gonna notice the usual details like the Tom Ford pocket over here. Um, I wouldn't put anything in there because it breaks the line of the suit, especially something this tight. And you also have the pockets over here in the corner. This is the button one. I'm going to actually take off the jacket because I want to show you the pants. So the pants themselves have a wide waist. Okay, You can see that it's, it's a wider than most waist. You've got your usual Tom Ford pull tabs right here. Very comfortable. And in the back, I'll slowly swing around. You've got this little notch here. Now that is to make it a little bit more forgiving. You can see I've got a decent amount of room. I could definitely have a buffet lunch if I wanted to. But the pants themselves are, and you can see down here, not cuffed. Okay, you saw a lot of the Skyfall suits, even Quantum of Solace that were cuffed. These are not cuffed, it's a straight line. By the way, as we're down there, I will tell you I picked a blue sock. The reason I picked a blue sock as opposed to Craig's black sock is because I didn't want to break up the lines of the leg. The legs themselves are not long. There really is no break, so you get that kind of action pose. And you can also see kind of in my fake running stance that they're a military cut. They're slim but they're not skinny. The pants are not skinny. So that's one of the things that really kind of flatters the whole silhouette, whether you're wearing the jacket or not. By the way, those that are observant out there realize that I'm not wearing the correct shirt. The correct shirt was a double barrel cuff. This is, of course, the little Dr. No nod that Tom Ford had. This is actually the made-to-measure suit from the Moroccan outfit when he visits Blofeld's lair. So, um, you'll see this again when I do that review of that outfit. But the jacket itself, absolutely beautiful. One of the things um, that a lot of you realize is Tom Ford puts all the details of the suit within the pocket. So you can see here, all of these crazy numbers mean something. They mean about the size, um, about what it's made out of, all the little details, even what to do as far as wash. But my God, you would not throw this into the wash. As we put this on, again. I did want to show you something that's pretty spectacular with, well, quite frankly, any Tom Ford suit. These suits were made to fit, meaning action. So you can see that I can do a lot of different things in this. Um, I can walk over here. I can, uh, <laughs> cute little touch. You know, when he's kind of doing the whole thing and, and walking around and doing the pose, of course, I've got to button up a little bit. And he's getting down, and he's getting close, and he's going back, and you could do the whole back thing. It moves. This is not a suit where you're like, uh, 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 and it's not a sack suit that isn't moving with you. It's something that, really, from an action standpoint, it's got really good movement. I could see him running through the streets pretty easily. Um, it's unbelievably comfortable, and it's forgiving. So a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it looks like it was shrink-wrapped on you. No, it moves. It moves extremely well. It's very effective. Um, up close, we'll show you this since we talked about it before. Buttonholes work. I know it's a little uh, uh, snobbish to, to <laughs> leave it unbuttoned. A lot of people, and Bond does that, but a lot of people say, please don't leave it unbuttoned. The fact that it unbuttons is good enough. You don't have to show that off. Okay, so let's talk about this. I've been a little tough on... Tom Ford lately. You've seen some of my reviews of uh, the polo and the cost and some of those other things, even the customer service. I will say that I love this suit. I had it taken up a little bit on the bottoms here, um, quite frankly, just to make it fit a little bit better, like a, you know, a, a 48 short wood. But um, I'm extremely happy with this suit. I'm happy with the quality. I'm happy with the fit, the feel, um, the look. 
Um, I loved the PTS. Say what you will about Spectre. I think the uh, pre-title sequence was extremely effective, beautifully shot, great action from beginning to end. Helicopter scene was a little bit long, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. I love this suit. So I'm giving it two thumbs up for the fit and the feel, the look, the color, um, the way it moves, how much use I'm going to get out of it. So majorly happy. So Tom Ford Review, PTS, asked for quite a bit. This has been David Zeritsky for The Bond Experience, and we will talk to you very soon.